two, one. Good morning, everyone. Sorry if we're late. We were just about to go live and UPS walked in, so that's a very exciting box over there that I can't open yet, which kind of drives me crazy because I want to open it. How is everyone this morning? We are trying to get this up so I can see comments. There we go. All right. Um, it was an exciting weekend for me because I finished my project. Woohoo! Woohoo! I have a new one to show everybody. I'm going to wait for some people to pop on here before I show that. Good morning, Marlene. Hey, look, I can read that. And Sandy. Sandy, do you have an extra stain handy? <laughs> That's a joke we have between <laughs> us. <laughs> I like that. Hi, Debbie. Uh, <clears throat> Natalie. Yeah, I finished my project and got it blocked. I have a new project. Do you guys want to see a new project? Yes. Yes. Uh, duh. I know, right? <laughs> Here is said new project. Oh my gosh, I love it. With some beads. This is a new yarn that is going to be, well, I think it is available right now. It's called Indulgence <laughs> Kettle Dyed Collection. We are not debuting it today because my sample is not done. Uh, does anybody want to see how to put beads in? Because that's yes. actually my next row. <laughs> Let's see if people are... Oh. They're, they're coming yes, on. Yes, yes. Okay. Good morning, beads, everyone. Yes. All right, let me do um, a few stitches here because I can't do them right on the edge. I love doing projects with beads. I... A lot of you that know me, you know I love beads. Let me check my pattern. Five, oh, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I'm actually going to come around on the same side as Karen so that I'm right side up for you guys. She taught me how to do beads, and I love it. I haven't done anything with beads in a while, but I love it. So there's my beads. There's my little teeny tiny crochet hook. Yeah, there yep. you can just see the hook. Alrighty, so I like to grab a bead and I put it on the hook. You're going to grab the stitch, take it off the needle, and I've got pressure on it. Push that bead on there, put the stitch back on the needle, and then you knit. Four, five, and I'll do it again. I like how she puts it on her hand. That's a new one, Susan. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's my, my standard. So well, for me, I haven't seen yeah. you do that. <laughs> if I have a sticky bead mat, you can just grab it and do oh, that. But that's I what, yes. I didn't bring mine in. Okay. So grab the stitch, put some pressure on it, and hold here. I've got it pinched in my thumb and finger, so there's tension on it. Slide that bead over. Put it back on the needle, and then you just knit that stitch, and it just sits nicely on the row below. Some patterns will have you knit the stitch and then put it on the stitch, but I don't like to do that. I think it makes the stitch a little extra big. Mm -hmm. And by dropping it down in the row below, it doesn't change the tension of that stitch. It just adds a bead. Oop, don't fall off. There. Super nice. fun. Okay, everybody ready to try that now? Oh, yes, Sandy. I pinch that stitch, and then I pull on it. I pinch it with one hand, pull with the other one. And the yarn pushing in Bead Queen. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Beverly, you have a dingy day. That's no fun. What is ours? We might... I don't know what we get today. Do we... Do you know the weather forecast? No. I know it's supposed to start raining tomorrow, I Actually, think. Actually, I think there's a huge storm coming. Yeah. Up. Does anybody know? <laughs> and I have just a little tin. I keep them in. The other trick is this is the tube that the beads came in and this comes with a cap. Do I know where it is? No. So I just store it in my little tube and then it doesn't fall out and it doesn't snag anything in my project bag. All right, and back to using my Remarkable. If you guys don't have an electronic paper pad thing, these are awesome. That is very cool. All righty, uh, grand prize. As soon as we tell the phone, we will call you back. Yes, we had the phone in the drawer if you look for it. <laughs> that way, if it does ring again, it's not as loud. 
So let's see. We have today and tomorrow to get entries in the grand prize, which we will draw Thursday, February 1st. We have okay, I just have to say, yeah. I can't believe it's the end of the month already. I know, right? Woo. Before we know it, it's going to be that yep. holiday we don't want to talk about yet yep. because it's too early. Exactly. So we have skein, one skein of Merino Ombre, one ply, one skein of Merino Cloud in the spots. These are both the uh, World Traveler Azores collection. This one's gonna ombre for you. This one just gonna have little little spots. To go along with that, we have these really cute little inspirational stitch markers that are backwards for you guys. Lots of positive sayings, one sparkly gold one. I like to use that for beginning of round. Daniel double markers, so that one plus an additional just makes it super obvious that you have the beginning of round right there. <laughs> Shelly, that holiday my husband ignores. <laughs> I'm all for that. <laughs> we have our easy peasy gauge ruler, which if you haven't used it, is phenomenal because it magnifies the stitches. Hopefully you can see that um, on the cardboard backing there. I like to put it on my project. In fact, I'll show you. A little awkward because now I'm in the beginning, middle of a row. But you can put it on there. I'm not going to line it up too much, but you can see how it magnifies the stitches. And then I take a little picture, and, well, I used to send it to Anna, and I'm like, check my gauge, double check me. You can do that, send us a picture, we'll check it. And this one doesn't move, so, you know, like a tape measure kind of moves around a little. Uh -huh. This one doesn't, it's awesome. All right, we have a package of pistachio cherry, which I believe Danielle is seeing those people at the show right now. These are really good. We have our two color fibers of life zip pouch, which is felted and then they've got their little zipper pull. So they are a zero waste company, which is pretty awesome. And hey, I forgot to talk about our patterns. Oh. We have Brassavola, which you could double strand with both of these. And it's very sheer. Show you here, Karen. Look up. You can see right through it. It's lightweight. It keeps you warm. It's not itchy. I love this one. Maybe I'm biased because I made it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, the other pattern is Santa Catarina, which we have our sample here. So this one is double stranded merino cloud. You could use merino cloud, any fingering, any sport weight. Heck, you could probably use a single strand of worsted and still be really pretty. You should try that. Mm -hmm. Next, we have our class supply tin, which I is... I can't hear you, Susan. <laughs> oh, la, 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 right? We have our scissors that fold up. Some rainbow no-snag markers. Some locking safety pins. A tapestry needle. And there's our tapestry needle. And our embossed tape measure. It retracts. These things are fun to play with. Uh-huh. Which is how I broke one the other day uh -huh. at home. I wasn't going to say it. it. Uh-oh, I broke it. <sighs> it's a okay. great fidget. <laughs> it is. And it's, it's like if I have a pen in my hand, I just have to click it. Yep. Which is annoying to anyone that's not doing the clicking. So true. All right. And that's everything there. So how you get entered is every time you make a purchase, you get one entry per purchase. And so the more purchases, the more entries you get. We will draw on Thursday, February 3rd. Oh, that's going to be me and you. Yeah. We get to do that. Okay. That'll be um, exciting. I know. I can't wait. So Stacy says, can you turn on your mic? You are fading in and out. It is turned on. Um, the only problem with the microphone is you can't turn it on in the middle of the video. It doesn't connect. So it is on. I will try and keep my volume at a level. How about that? Okay. That's funny. I'm expecting volume to come from this because I used to, I used to be in the back and I would be linked into it and yeah. I would hear everything and now it's like I only hear myself. I don't hear anything else. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a change being backstage. Yes. To as being opposed in to being front. on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So today's daily prize is Danielle's Escanaba scarf. It is. You could use this lovely ball of Suido that we have here. So it's a bulky weight. So cute. And 
It's this is written for worsted. We put some bulky here, so we said cast on maybe two repeats less, which is twenty four, because this one is done lengthwise, not vertical, but horizontal. Did I get those directions? Yes. Right? Yes. I tend to mix those up, so yeah. Bigger yarn. Oh, we'll write down what needle size to do. We're going to up that a couple of sizes. And how you get entered into this. So you get entered by interactions, so the little emojis. And every time you make a comment gets you entries, you can share the video right here on this little, as Anna called it, swoosh arrow. So you can share now to your friends, you can share to your stories, and then you want to come back and say shared to and, ooh, I almost put and where, shared, shared to and where, because shared is the keyword that the comment picker triggers on. Share to my stories, to my friends, and so sharing and coming back and commenting gets you 11 entries. Did I miss any? She loved the prize. Yeah, let's see if I missed anything. Shared. Grandpa. I know, Darla, right? Awesome prize. All right, here is our comment picker. Let's see who our winner is today. Sharon Peterson. I really think you just won. Any comments from Sharon on that? All right, well, either way, congratulations, Sharon. So how do they collect their prize? So if you are out of town and you order something, we will add it to your um, order. And if you could let us know in the comment section that you won. And then if you're local, we'll have it here for you in the cabinet. So just come in and let us know that you're picking up your prize. And we keep it for 30 days. So we only have so much storage as I was shoving something in this morning. I'm like, oh, it's very full. People need to come pick up their stuff. M middle of the alphabet. Um, come grab your prize. Yep. Well, your packages, really. We got both in there. Yep. All righty. Is everybody ready for today's yarn? In here. Multitasking. I know, right? <laughs> Otherwise... It's off and running when we open the doors. <laughs> yep. Put that away now. I don't have to do it later. All right. So we are talking about some lovely Ito today. And I am going to feature some patterns from the Noro 23 magazine that you could do with Ito. Ito is worsted weight. Uh oh, where'd my paper go? Okay. Uh, Ito is 100% wool. It is 437 yards for each barrel ball or the fancy dragon egg name. I like that. Isn't that fun? Yes. I know. Now if we could just get a baby dragon, how fun would that be? <laughs> that might, I don't know if that would be fun or scary. Uh, yeah, either one. Yeah. <laughs> a little <of> both. <laughs> Darla, yes, 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 yarn. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. All right, this one is color 41. So, let's see, where did I start my... All right, we're going to start here with caramel fading into some pecan. Then we got some dusty purple. Uh, I'm going to call that like a... What did I call that? Concord grape? Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, into a <laughs> dusk. I think I started my color scheme right here, so... Yeah. Very, very, I don't want to say dark, that sounds wrong, but subdued. Yeah. But still classy. Agreed. Yep. Yeah. Well, and it's nice because if you do wear maybe a brighter color on your clothes, then you can have a darker color on your project. Yeah. You know, if you're, yeah. So, and I think it would go with anything, really. Right. All right. This one is color 65. Ooh, I love it. I know, right? Let's see. I think I'm going to play. There's that purple, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th is this the one? I don't think this is the one I did, is it? No, it's that one. Um, so this one goes from teal into some olive green. Got some little hits of chartreuse-ish. 
say that a bunch of times. Yep. Uh, it's going to fade into some plum, which is also some red violet here. Angelus yarn, yep. Yay. Yay, purple. All right, let's look. Okay, let us look at a couple of patterns here. This one is in the Noro 23 magazine, which is Tahoe. Oh, we had the trunk show for this here. That was a really cute sweater. Some nice seed stitch up here. Some good detail of a little, looks like just a little ridge. I'm not sure how they did that one. And then some stock in it and little bracelet length sleeves. That one's cute. Oh, this one. Okay, so this one is Marana. Lovely little Fair Isle pattern. And if you focus over here, this is my version of the Marana sweater because I just turned it into a capelet because we know I have a problem with sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> so I just turned it into a capelet. This is, I believe, the next color we're going to show. And then this one, you could use Malvinas. That would be an awesome base. We don't have this one anymore. If you do do that one, let us know because the chart has some problems and we worked out the kinks on that one. So that's super fun, Fair Isle. Let's see. Oh, there's only one. I didn't put mine in. Oh, this blanket. This is in the magazine oh, as well. Oh, wow. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. And just like two balls, two different colors of Ito. That one's in the magazine. I wonder how many colors that is. I know. So they used Madara, which is a solid, but hey, just do stripes with uh, Ito of seven colors. So pretty. One more. This is in the magazine, too. I had missed vi seeing this one. It's woven somehow. I yeah, don't know. I like that. I don't know how they did that. Oh, it's probably shaping with yarn overs. Because you can see it's not actually woven because the color goes this way. Yeah. So it is it is one piece front and back. What do they say? Seamed, selvage, work flat. So yeah. Basket weave pillow with that yarn over. That's one of Anna's favorite patterns. With the basket weave with the yarn over in it. Let's look at this color. This one is 65. This is what's in my... Marana sample version variant. So many words. Um, it's so funny. I'm used to reading the comments, and I feel like I, I know what Daniel means. It's hard when there's no interaction here. Cute pillow. That is cute. So oh, thank you, Kathy. Great description. Cute pillow. Very pretty colors. Yeah, All and right. I don't see a lot of the comments because they go so fast. I, I can only see one, like one and a half. <laughs> yeah, there's not much room on a phone screen, no. so if we missed your message, we're really sorry. Yes. We do try. It is hard. If anybody new is here, shout out, and we can say hello. Is basket weave hard to do? No, Sandy. It's a it's a combination of knits and pearls, and for that one, they just put a yarn over in between, you know, however many stitches they wanted to do. With the yarn overs, you're going to actually have a knit two together next to it to keep your stitch count the same, but it's just a set of knits and pearls. In that case, I think that one was all knits. This one is 65, so we're going to start with lavender purple people. Um, okay, so I, I decided to call this kind of eggnog, because I don't do anything to the eggnog I get at the store, so it kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> it's very fall and a ball. We're getting into some honey color, into some yam. Anybody hungry yet? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're going to come over here to some red violet and to some kind of a bright teal. A little bit of olive right there, olive-ish. I wasn't going to call you out that you were late, Brenda, but I noticed. Oh, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. <clears throat> I mean, you know, if there was a meeting involved for you being late, I guess that's okay. <laughs> yeah, some people still have to work a regular 9-to-5 job, you, you retired person. Yep. You know? <laughs> All right, let's go with number 48. Um, Kathy is asking if it's soft. It is. I mean, it's not cashmere soft, but it is soft, and when you block it, it gets even softer. Yeah, feeling mine. It definitely gets softer. Every, Noral totally benefits from blocking. Every, I don't know how it softens it, but it does. I like that fall in a ball. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
If you want to try and get it even softer, you could do your final rinse with some hair conditioner because it is oh. animal fiber. It's hair, basically. Yeah. So, it, you know, some uh, conditioner would not hurt it. Just make sure you get it all rinsed out, kind of like your own hair. 48 is this color. We're going to start with some sky blue. I noticed you were late, too, Crystal. Oh, boy. <laughs> I wasn't going to call late. you guys out. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, some people, I tell you. <laughs> I know. We got to talk to your friends. Yep. <laughs> yep. So we're going to go sky blue into some key lime. Ooh, I love that green. Isn't and I'm not gorgeous? a green person. There you go, Crystal. There's some green yep. for you. We're going to call fading into chartreuse. Now, this is one I always have trouble saying. Um, some cerulean. 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 And into some dark lapis blue. Then we've got some dark olive and... Here we'll go this part. Is that the one I was calling sand dollar? I called, I called that one in there sand dollar. Mixed in yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we'll look at one more here. This is color 40. Uh, this one's going a little, oh, here we'll go this way. Sorry, I have to do the way, <laughs> the way I set them up in my head. <laughs> you just got to look at a 360 view there. This one is some more cerulean to granola. How about that? Oh, yeah, I like that. A little bit of key lime. Uh, let's see. Into kind of a gray blue. I couldn't decide what to call that one. Didn't have I know. A fancy it's like name. not a baby blue, but yeah, it's got. It's, it's got, definitely gray. Yeah. I feel like it's got the oatmeal in it, so it kind of uh, yeah. makes it lighter. Now, with your granola, you need some latte. <laughs> ah! Add a little bit of honey to it if you wish. Then we've got some lavender fading into some red violet. Yeah, red violet. Yeah. Except I called that one red violet too, didn't I? I'm working on my colors, you guys. Bear with me. Hey, she's doing great. All right, let's look at a couple more patterns here. Let's see, where are we? Oh, we did the pillow. Okay, I know. Oh my gosh. I know I've done this one before, but I absolutely am in love with this thing and I desperately need to make it with some Yoro. <laughs> do. And some Malvinas. <laughs> oh, I'd have to use this one. You know, it's so pretty. Yeah, oh, definitely. And for the for the body and yep. then pick something else. Malvinas yep. for the Malvinas or Kashirukuru. So many pretty colors. I just love this chicken. He cracks me up every I time. Know. Thanks, guys, for all the people that said we're doing a good job. Yay. And safety eyes, you can get those by the hundreds on Amazon in lots of different colors. Ask me how I know that. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> my ch I can't show you a picture. You have my phone. My child made the cutest little crochet turtle. They're adorable. I'll post them how on the collective cute. after. How cute. They're so cute. i got to get the pattern, though. I that and I'm going to have to steal one out of the room because I'm going to show everybody. <laughs> this is a really fun lakes pullover. I like little, that. Oops. Folded hem on the neck. Some nice shaping here. A little saddle shoulder. Pretty basic outline. Drop shoulder. Nice silhouette. You can make the sleeve shorter if you wanted. It just looks so comfy. That one... Is a thousand up to nineteen hundred, and these are four thirty-seven. Those of you that know me, you know I'm not gonna do math without my calculator. So, sorry. Can you do math? I can, but I didn't even hear four, your numbers. Four, four thirty-seven. Uh -huh. Say four thirty into whatever that is. Into. Divided by. Uh, what? Times. I. You're putting <laughs> me on the. If you multiply, yes. If you, yeah. I can't do it on like four, the flash. I need eight, time to. Twelve. So, what, two to four balls? Three. three. Debbie said three. Thank you. You're, <laughs> you're my mathematician now, Debbie. I don't do math if I, I can help it. I can do it without, like, being on a video. Without thing. being on the spot, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, this was just cute. Oh, that is cute. A little bean cardigan. That would be so cute. Honestly, I don't know if I would use Noro for a baby sweater because you got to hand wash it, but how cute is it? be awesome in some Rios. And no fuss knit. Talk about no oh, that fuss. Is if cool. you use Noro, you don't have to change colors. 
Oh, I love well, look that. Look how far that drop sleeve is. I know. You could just do a little bit of ribbing there and be done. It's de- <laughs> if you didn't want long <laughs> sleeves. Susan, I mean, she's like, this. avoid the sleeve. I know, right? <laughs> you could do this on the machine also. So fast and easy. Oh, hey, it's a free pattern too. Worsted, 900 to 12. So up to... Beverly, have you done this pattern before? She said, love this pattern. Yeah, this is super cute. Sleeve Island is real. Yeah, let's add that to our <laughs> library. Sleeve Island is a thing. I have <laughs> I have a lot of sweaters on Sleeve Island. Okay, yeah. Here's a cute little hat you can do with just one skein. You can do even the um, ribbing in the same color. It would be really pretty. <laughs> Sandy, that's another basketball that's, pattern. But Sandy said, I didn't realize you had a sleeve phobia. <laughs> I do. I do. Um, yeah, we all have our things, and sleeves are my Achilles heel. I get excited about starting sweaters, and then I get to the sleeves, and I'm like, meh. We'll do it tomorrow, which turns into three or four years later. I'm still waiting. <laughs> so you can get a lot of hats out of one ball. Let's see. Only took me two years to finish my second sleeve. <laughs> right. Okay, they have a lot of needle sizes because they've done this in multiple weights. Oh, that's cool that yeah. they have. Yeah. So, three hats out of it, probably. And you don't have to do the ribbing as tall. You could do just one inch. It looks folded over. It does, but it's hard to tell. Okay, here's one in Rasta that they did just a little bit of ribbing right there. You can tell it's Rasta by how big it is. I really want to know, is it... Okay, because the ribbing looks huge on that one. Yeah, I, it's got to be a folded brim. There are no... Oh, bottom up. Now, that's a fun way. That's really fun. Oh, yeah, look. You can see the little tiny blue right back there. Oh, yeah. I just folded up. Phew. Starting to think so that's in my mind. So that's a huge ribbing on there. Yeah, well, if you're really... Where it's really cold, you mm -hmm. want that. I just want it to go over my ears, so... Okay, Edgar Slipover. Now, they used a double strand of lace plus sport weight to get worsted. You could do just one strand. And how fun. Oh, look, it's got ribbing oh, right I here. I like that. I think that's a twisted rib, so either knit through the back loop pearl one or vice versa. And it goes all the way up here. That's some nice shaping. And then it looks like a folded neckline there as well, which you don't have to do the folded, so less ribbing. Yay. Oh, and the nice detail of the little... Where it all comes together right there. Center double decrease. Got some cute shaping. I feel like you should add that pattern, Brenda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were talking oh. that how she's got so many patterns. The wish yeah. list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Daniel says, this one came out a little too low, so you could definitely just knit more body. Oh, yeah. Make your... Um, this portion not as long so that's a cute one let's go one more here baker scarf back up. oh pretty got a slip stitch detail right there the rest of it's garter stitch kind of hard to see on the it it's is it's dark. so dark let's see if we can find a lighter one. Oh wow they're diagonal that's cool so that's the shaping and the gives you that line see if we have any more. What is that one? Oh, nice. You've got a solid one here, and then it starts at a different point and makes a second one. Well, that's a not-get-bored scarf because you got some garter, and then you've got to, oh, i got to do something else here. <laughs> awesome. we got two more colors. one is color 33. Tawny pink. What yeah. would everybody call tawny? I mean, is that like like big cat brown? Yeah, tawny. tawny. It's kind of a yeah. light. I mean, you're kind of talking like the uh, a latte kind of thing too, but a little bit darker. Sandy, could you do the basket weave in two colors? You could. Yeah, just change every Basket weave repeat, which is 
two to four rows, probably every four rows you could change color. So we've got some tawny pink fading into a burgundy, so that's your little fade right there. It's just the way they, if you guys don't know how they apply the, or put their colors together, it's really awesome. I'm trying to think, they lay out all the roving in the colors and then they spin it, I mean it's just awesome. Beverly wants to know, any men's zipper front with a high neck pattern? Ooh. We can do a little bit of searching for that probably. Uh, all right, so we are fading to burgundy. I called that corn flower, corn, mm -hmm. corn field because it's like the summer, in yeah. the summer when the corn all turns yellow, mm -hmm. the plants. Okay, this one was crazy, but peanut shell. Oh, I like that. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> into some red burgundy with a little bit of a little bit of kind of a cherry color with a, another light oh, yarrow that that's another good one yarrow yeah oh i'm just gonna call that light pink i got nothing right now it doesn't look super pink on the video but it's definitely got a pink tinge to it and then we have Color number 61, which is their neutrals. Oh, they, yeah. They used to call that number one, but they've been changing how they do their colors now. So we got a little bit of olive going into light tan. When I called that one cedar. Into some parchment, some hickory, and into latte. A little bit of olive right there, a light olive. Good neutrals goes mm -hmm. with a lot of different things. And we can go over the colors in a minute. We have a couple more patterns, I think. Oh, we did that one. Oh, here we go. Here's one of ours. Uh, knitting Shades of Gray. So it's just knit pearl combination, but that would be super fun in Noro because it would change colors for you. I like it when yarn changes color, then mm -hmm. it does all the work. And our shared scarf. This was Daniel's first pattern ever released. Super easy pattern. This is like what we put our second time knitters on after they do the hat. Lots of skills, but not a lot of work. Oh, sunset in the desert. Oh, we have a sample of that somewhere. No, that's not it. Really fun in Noro. That is a discontinued yarn, I believe, but we do have a sample here in the store out of Noro. And one more, a little stripes and ridges. This would be fun in Noro. That one's definitely a discontinued yarn. Why am I holding my head sideways to see it? That's funny. <laughs> I'm trying to follow the stripes. You guys can't see it, but that was hilarious. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see if I missed. Oh, salmon, that's a good color. All right, let's move our harmony hearts there. So this one is number 48. This one is 40. I can read it. Oh, I like way. that. So this one is 33. And then we have 61. And this one is 65. And my cape lid is out of this one, which is, oh, hey, I did 65 twice. That's how much I like it. <laughs> and, they, and then, as you notice, they look totally different they because do, of the yeah. way it's wound. So. <laughs> and this one is 41. Uh, let's see, the question was, behind on your other crocheting, uh-oh. I know, it's so easy to start new things. Men's zipper front. All right, let's see what we can do. So we're going to go over to Ravelry. Watch. Okay, yep, you. I'm coming. Good. Sorry, oh, yeah, just okay. a cramp in my hand, so I couldn't move you without dropping the phone. All right, so we're under patterns. We're going to go advanced search. We're. I'm gonna. Um, you can do. You know, if I'm searching for you, I'll do available in store so that I make sure we find something you can actually get your hands on. Um, clothing, top, oh no, vest, and we're going to go worsted weight, oh, I missed, worsted weight, and 
age or size, we're going to say adult. Gender, we're going to say male there. because you asked for a men's vest. Uh, well, there's a zipper. Did you say zippered? Mm hmm. All right, so zipped vest. Oh, yeah. Oh, some nice texture in that. Picture's a little bit blurry. There we go. So if it's blurry and it's dark. Yeah. Let's try this one. Oh, it's got some little different detail right there on the faux seam. Will that work for you, Sandy? Zipped Vest by Veronica Avery. I believe she writes really good patterns. Uh, here's another one. Perun, P-E-R-U-N. I think I like the first one better. Yeah, this is just a ribbed stripe, basically. Nice. All right, there's a couple of ideas for you, Sandy. If you come on in, you know, I'll find you a whole bunch. That's the dangerous thing. Susan's and good at that. <laughs> <laughs> and again, the patterns we started with are in the Noro 23, which we still have some copies of. Let's see if I missed any questions. Oh, Beverly, you could add sleeves with no problem. Okay, come do my sleeves, because <laughs> I have a problem with sleeves. I don't know why. All right, I know it's early, but we're going to call it a day, because we got some orders to fill still, some shipping to do. We are open Tuesday through Friday. Tuesday through Saturday, Saturday, 11 to 5. I don't know what happened to that. Uh, we are on track with our shipping to get it all out on time. Just waiting for the mailman to come. Jackie wants to know, what number Noro Mag is that again? That is number 23. And, and then, oh, what are we wearing? Oh, what are we wearing? Thank you. I don't. Um. Th thank you, Darla. <laughs> I think that was Darla who asked. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I am wearing the Good Karma cowl that I just finished. It's got three colors. This is just an easy garter stitch slip stitch pattern. I used one skein of pinky and dreaming color and then you use about 50 yards of the other two colors which is gold experience and I want to say liberation. I don't think it's liberation light but Super fun. It's on Ravelry. I'll put all the links for everything in the collective, and I'm a little late, but we're going to add Ito in the comments. There we go. Sorry, folks. I forgot that part. Um, okay, let's see what you're wearing. Do you want me to just take it off? No. Are you, okay. Look, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it's <laughs> put it on like an... I don't know, an hour ago? <laughs> yeah, it is uh, Guidon, I believe. It is crocheted out of a sport weight Noro. Here, I'll take it off a little closer. <clears throat> yes, you were right. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, you know it's got the purple, but I love that it's got all the colors in it. So Show them up it goes close. from purple to lavender to a very, very light green and then kind of a brown. I think more like a chocolate brown almost. Yeah. So that one is crocheted and we have an on-demand class on our website. Thank you, Brenda. See, I'm used to reading comments on this side I of know. the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll turn this around. Here we go. Okay, I think we did all the things now. Let me know if I forgot anything. I'll... Try again on Thursday because Boss Lady will be back tomorrow. So have a great day and thanks for spending in, uh, quite an hour with us. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye.